real quick, be sure to take full advantage of this by signing up at woodproacademy.com where you'll get access to the full tutorial, but you'll also get project downloads. By working along with the video, you'll greatly accelerate your learning. So enjoy your video and we'll see you at woodproacademy.com. All right, we're going to talk about another transparent command called mid between two points. And uh, this is actually a special type of snap. Now this is used when you need your second point to be between two other points. Now in this industry, this actually comes up all the time. This is incredibly useful. Uh, get uh, practice with it and get to know it well. In fact, this can be combined with other commands with other transparent commands like from and we're going to demonstrate this um, and with the combination of the two you'll see how this is a is a huge time saver um, it, it is one of those things I can demonstrate much easier than I can talk about it so let me just show you now we're gonna place some sync blocks symbols on these plans and these elevations. So for the first set, I'm going to do copy command. So I'm going to select the plan view, right click Y. Now before I select my second point, I'm going to do shift, right click, and I'm going to choose on this menu mid between two points. Now if you're using an older version of AutoCAD, you can just do shift, right click, T, letter T. That's the hotkey. And for some reason, there's this new point. There's a new point filters uh, snap, uh, which we don't we don't use. Um, but that's confused the the snap thing. This is the first time AutoCAD has done this in my entire experience with them. But so I'm going to choose mid between two points, and I'm going to snap to the diagonals. And that's going to place this directly in the center. Um, if you don't understand the basic geom like the basic geometry of a rectangle or a square, by by snapping to diagonal corners, I find the the direct center of of the entire thing. It's just a shortcut to finding the center of a rectangle or square. Now for the for the elevation. I don't have to deal with that. I can get a midpoint snap here. There's no need to complicate things, right? So if I can just snap to a midpoint snap, why do anything more complicated? All right, now for my next view, I'm going to move. So right click in. Now I'm going to I'm going to snap to diagonal corners. But in this situation, I'm going to go into the half of the right-hand side. So I want my sink to be perfectly centered in the right-hand half of this countertop. So I'm going to shift, right-click, choose mid between two points. And I'm going to snap to the midpoint and then to the corner diagonal to, the, to my first point. Point, right and so this is directly in the center of this countertop let's um, um, let's do some dimensions and, and just check I'll take my word for it let's prove it so if I if I measure to the center point that's uh, that's 42 which we would expect and then the center of the sink that's 21, which we would expect to be the center. So it worked perfectly. So for um, for this view, I can just grab the grip and move it and then enter into my transparent command because by grabbing the grip, I actually started the move command. I didn't have to type anything, but I did start it. Now I'm going to choose that midpoint snap and the end to place it 
where it needs to be. For this exercise, we need to open our blocks file. So let's do that first. I'm going to do control key and the letter O. Open my blocks file. Now let's copy, let's copy this elevation view of that block, this hidden view, and then let's grab this grommet. Okay, so I'm going to do control C and then I'm going to downsize this window instead of doing my arrangement windows. I'm just showing you different options for how to move between files here. So I'm going to paste this into uh, this folder. I mean this file. I'm going to organize my blocks a little more. Now I'm done with the blocks folder so I'm going to close it there's no need to save it and then I'm going to restore this window to its full size now I've got my blocks and I'm ready to start arranging things let's let's get our plan view straight first okay I'm gonna I'm gonna do the grommet first okay now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two transparent commands back to back I'm gonna do from and then I'm gonna do mid between two points because I want to come from the center of the knee space let me go to it here this is a knee space I want to go I want to go six inches to the right and three inches down from the middle of my knee space I want this grommet offset so it doesn't conflict with the countertop support that I'm gonna put there so let me grab Start my move command. I'm going to grab the grommet in the center of the grommet. Now it's asking for my second point. So I'm going to do shift, right click, and from. Okay. Now it's asking for my from base point. In which case I'm going to do shift, right click, and choose mid between two points. So first things first. Now, now in the order of things, I need to choose my, my midpoint and then my from operation will pick back up so let's choose two points that's going to determine the center if i pull down you can see the string is attached to the center of the space now i'm going to put in a, a, a relative coordinates at six comma minus three and that place that grommet six inches over and three inches down from the center of this knee space. Now let's put the countertop support in there. I'm just going to move it this time with the grip. Now I'm going to go mid between two points. And there you have it. Same thing with the elevation. I have a handy grip, but look, if I didn't have the grip, I would have a midpoint snap or mid between two points right if I didn't have the nice convenient snap or grip I always have mid between two points to fall back on because we're always grabbing the middle of stuff okay and there's my knee space okay We hope you benefited from that quick tutorial. Even though we specialize in training materials for the professional woodworking industry, we know that our techniques can benefit anyone. And if you haven't already, be sure to go to woodproacademy.com, sign up where you can get access to this full tutorial and many more. Plus, you'll get the project downloads.